Hello everyone, Nick here. This is a, another visiting station uh, video. This time it is Audley End, which I visited back on Friday the 31st of January 2020, along with the upcoming one on Shelford, which I visited, uh, a station visit I did recently. I forgot to do a video at the time, I didn't think about doing it, um, but now I've decided to kind of do a vid small video edit about it. Um, and like the Altenham one with a commentary introduction thing going on uh, as we talk through some of the pictures and stuff. The video will be left as it is. Uh, there is a bit of video in here. The reason I was at Audley End on that particular date is because I had a job interview at uh, youth host at the youth hostel in Cambridge, um, which is why I'm wearing undressed so smartly. And then on the way back home, um, actually decided, because I was a little bit early for my train, I actually decided to get uh, the new uh, Greater Anglia trains that were running on uh, rural routes in Norfolk, Suffolk, and I believe now Essex. Um, they've also uh, introduced the longer, uh, uh, long distance trains for the Stansted Express and the intercity services. Uh, so those are around now, and they'll probably introduce uh, more of the uh, five car um, versions of those as time goes on. At um, the time of this video, uh, these pictures and video being made um, back in January, it was uh, two, uh, three and four coach trains for the more rural service. And I believe I got a four coach one uh, coming from Norwich going down to Stansted Airport because they uh, merged the Cambridge to Stansted Airport and Cambridge to Norwich services to become one service from Norwich to Stansted Airport and return. Um, so I got a service um, from Norwich to Sands Airport, got in getting on at, at Cambridge Station and then heading down one stop to Audley End to save some time and also, just, well, not really save some time actually, probably added more time on, but um, I wanted to try these new trains out and I've still got to try the um, new 12 coach trains out um, that have uh, been introduced on Sands Express, so could have a try on those one day, one day perhaps when um, lockdown is a little less restrictive considering we're going into new lockdown measures though thankfully I'll still be able to travel for university up to Cambridge um, but you anyway, know so I was trying to I wanted to try the new trains out back in January before the original lockdown um, and went decided to go one stop to Audley End to try out the new trains and then just wait there for my train um, to get back down to Bishop Stortford um, so I, at the same time, I also decided to check out Audley End. So the first couple of pictures are of me on board the new train. Um, we can see, um, well, uh, we can see some of the new maquette behind me and behind the bag, and a corridor uh, with new information sign up on the um, on the top. We then have me just um, standing next to the new trains and it's going uh, uh, departing. Um, the new front designs and then we've got platform one of all the end london bound um opposite is the sign on the on platform two which is cambridge bound and um says all the end for south morgan these uh, signs were actually introduced in 2012 i believe uh, if i remember correctly um all the end for south morgan as this is the station uh, the nearest station to the essex town of south morgan originally it actually had a there was a branch line from all the end to a Suffolk village called Bartlow, was it, or is it Cambridgeshire? Uh, my own Suffolk. Uh, Suffolk or Cambridgeshire um, village of uh, Bartlow um, via Saffron Walden, as well as the village of Ashton. And there was one intermediate stops between those two as well called Acro, which currently now is at an industrial estate just outside of Saffron Walden. And speaking of that, um, branch line. This is the original platform it uh, departed from. Although it's next to platform one, or at least across the um, the road from platform one, more or less, it's actually only platform three um, instead of platform zero, which is an interesting fact. Um, um, if this platform was still in use, it could still be platform three, or it could have been renumbered platform zero, which there aren't many of. Um, there's only eight, nine maybe by now, uh, with lead stations platform nine opening. If not, that's coming up. Um, but this is still platform three. Um, now it is currently a laundrette, and I believe it used to be a bus stop as well. Or that, though that might have been, although that might have been moved. Um, but there is definitely a dry cleaners at the platform three Saffron Morgan branch um, station building hut, 
um, that I've um, seen the picture. This is the former Platform 3 at Audley End Station. Would have terminated here. This is the Saffron Walden branch line from Audley End to Bartlow in Suffolk. Is it Cambridgeshire? No, I think it's definitely Suffolk. And going the other way, it would have gone towards Saffron Walden and Bartlow this way. Now it's a, uh, it's a uh, dry. The, the platform is well. This is the platform. That's the building. Uh, I think it was a dry cleaners. I'm not sure. Oh, ignore those. Ignore those. It's a car. We're in the car park now, and that's all the end. Platforms one and two, main station over there. Don't know if the track ever connected to the main line or not. There's a viaduct further down, so maybe not. So as I said in the video, um, it's now currently in a car park, platform three, which was all for the Saffron Walden, um, all the into Bartley branch, um, and it was a dry cleaners most recently, and is now right in the middle of a car park, and also has motorbikes next to it. Here we have the station building for platforms one and two, the main line station building. Um, and here is the um, building for the Saffron Walden branch line, which by the looks of it still is a, a dry cleaners. There is the sign for the station on the pole, which I did mention in the Shelford video with that is coming up, that most stations have a sign on their pole or somewhere on the station building or both. And here are some more shots of the station sign on uh, the pole of the sign and then we got a, a slimmer sh um, sign on the top of the station building this is a separate type of sign to the one on the poles those are usually for every station and then you'll have one of these ones on the stations as well I was here at all the end for about a quarter of an hour um, and then I caught my I actually went inside the station building as, as well um, had a look around didn't go onto platform 2 or go across the bridge, I don't believe, but I spent a bit of time in the inside the main off ticket office and just outside in the car park and have it had a look at the old platform three. Um, and then caught my train um, back home, which I didn't take any pictures or rec video recordings of, but uh, this is basically about it. But yeah, that is my um, visit to Audience Station on Friday the 31st of January 2020. Um, and I've got my um, video for uh, the Shelford visit on uh, Monday the 2nd of November coming up next. I've already pretty much recorded these bits for that video, but um, at, uh, when I'll put this one up first. Um, do you guys want these videos to become a more regular thing once the lockdown restrictions have um, eased? Um, would you like to see some more train station visit videos in the future? Might do uh, better ones for all the end and Shelford at later dates, perhaps. So I've done Stanton Airport, Elsenham, Lee Bridge, Audley End, Shelford, and of course, um, Angel Road before it visited on a, in a special video for that. Um, although I do want to do Merrill and Water, I was thinking about doing that last year. I wanted to do that, but I never did um, after that station had opened. So I, well, that's one to do on the bucket list. Um, Cambridge North, I technically did visit but I didn't do a video. I did take some pictures, but not many that would warrant a video and like all the end or Shelford. So that's another one to um, do at some point in the future. Maybe that could um, that could be one. And of course, if we did any more, all the stations have an adventure ones. It would have to be new stations we haven't visited before. So something like Woodsford Parkway, Great Chesterford, Newport. Um, have to have half visited Harlow Town and um, Broxbourne, have visited Sorbidgeworth, Chesant, Iron Mill might be one I could do. Um, this is the ones on my main line, but there are also plenty of others to visit and go to as well. Um, of course, the, the ones on the main line um, in London between Chesham and Tottenham Hale and Tottenham Hale and London Little Street and also Stratford on the Lee, on the Stratford branch. Um, and when Cambridge South gets opened, I will probably visit that eventually. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the Shelford visiting station video coming up soon and i'll see you guys next time goodbye don't forget to click below to subscribe to the nicholas payne youtube channel